Hey everyone, it's Kelsey from Grand Prix Hyundai with another walk around video. Today we are doing the 2015 Mitsubishi RVR. So coming around to the front here for starters, you have your daytime running headlights just down here. I'm gonna go through um, and point out any damage or anything that might be on here. So at first glance, you can see just right on the edge of the hood here, um, there is a little bit of rusting going on. Just a little just along the edge here a little bit there there's a little bit in the center of the hood here and just kind of uh, midway up as well you have your mitsubishi rims on 18 inch bridgestone tires turn signal indicators on your side view mirrors uh, damage on this is pretty minimal there is a few things here and there there's a little bit of road paint just right here a few scuffs um, and scratches kind of along the wheel well here but nothing super major um, this badge on the back is coming off a little bit so I'm just gonna leave it up to the next owner if they want to take that off or not there is some rust happening on the back hatch here a little bit of scratching and scuffs on the rear bumper as well this is the cargo space that you have in the back you have your floor that does lift up, revealing your spare tire. 60-40 split folding um, rear seats. There is also um, some bubbling and rust happening over here as well. This is an all-wheel control vehicle. Coming around to this side and see there's a little bit more of that scuffing, um, a little bit of a paint chip just on this wheel well back here. A little bit of rusting going on down in this corner and some scuffing on the side of the driver's door again it's nothing major it's purely cosmetic another bit of a scuff right here um this is the tread on the front driver side This is the tread on the front passenger side. Tread on the rear passenger side. And the tread on the rear driver's side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in. As you can see, this does have your keyless entry and it does have an aftermarket remote start on it as well. All right, so you do have all weather floor mats in the front here. As well as throughout the back, this is your back seat. It is an all cloth interior. Um, you have your power windows here. Okay, let's hop on in. All right, so you do have your power mirrors, your power locks and windows, your uh, driver windows and auto up and down. You have your traction control and your headlight settings here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It is a push button start. All right, so starting with the steering wheel here, you do have your steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, um, steering wheel mounted phone controls. You also have your cruise control here. You have automatic headlights up here um, and your wipers. It says exactly 86,600 kilometers on it, so still very low for the year. Coming over to your entertainment system, you do have a CD player. Uh, you have your media here. If you go info, you can find all the stuff here. Um, when you go into menu, you see you have AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth audio. You have your USB and iPod connectivity. Again, CD player, you also have aux. And then where you can connect your phone. And then just your settings, of course, in here. Coming down here, you have your climate control. So it's just your basic climate control. You do have automatic climate. And then coming down even further, you have your two stage heated seats here for both sides. So you have your low and your high. Um, you have a cigarette light. Well, it's not a cigarette lighter. It's your 12 volt with a fake cigarette lighter to cover it. Cup holders. Um, you also have your four wheel drive option. So when you click once, it puts you into your four wheel. Click again and it locks it into your four wheel drive. 
Um, so it is a part-time four-wheel drive, which is nice. You can have it in two-wheel drive in the summer, save a little bit on fuel. And then in the winter, you can have it locked into your four-wheel drive for that security on the road. Uh, your manual parking brake. And then it does have a brand new windshield on it as well. And then coming up here, you do have a moonroof. So that'll open up. It's just the shade that opens up the... Um, the moonroof is just always closed all the time. There is no way to open it. It is, it is just a, it's just a window on the ceiling basically. And then over here you do have your glove compartment with your user manual and all of that fun stuff. And then of course, before I forget, I always forget to add this in. You do have a backup camera as well. If there is anything I missed or anything that you did notice in the vehicle that I did not go over, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. Thanks for watching.